Hey guys, I'm Zach. Welcome to be here again. So today's topic is how to grind the coffee with a motor and a pestle. So as a coffee lover, we must have a coffee grinder like this electrical coffee grinder. It is very useful and can grind a lot of coffee for one person, two person or more. But uh, sometimes the mail function of the coffee grinder and uh, the power is off. Uh, we can't use this uh, useful machine. So we need to find uh, uh, another choice. We need to find another tools to grind the coffee. So if you have a blender, um, it is okay. Uh, but when the power is off, we can't use it. And uh, if we have a <coughs> blade grinder, yeah, it is okay. But when the power is off, we can't use it too. And uh, if you have a manual grinder, you are lucky. You can grind this easily. Mm, but. Uh, on the condition that if you don't have this, what you can do. So today we will show you this, how to grind the coffee with this. This is a very traditional way in the very ancient time, uh, people grind the coffee with the stones. And uh, it's very similar it's very similar like what we do today so let's start let's get some coffee so first step let's put some coffee inside oh i've got that uh, before we put the put the coffee beans, we need to clean it first. If uh, sometimes there is a dirty, there is dirty inside the dust or something you don't want, clean it first and make sure it's dry. Now let's put some coffee. I normally will put two spoon. Yeah. Let's see, this is the first. This is the second two spoon. So let's begin. We, need, uh, we will use this pencil to crush this and uh, uh, some advice uh, in the first step don't push too hard um, in my condition the beans is not is not very full if it's very full you push it like this the beans will go out they will jump out of the of this and uh, let's begin. Let's uh, first do it very gently. Crush it. I think uh, in this process uh, I will do it uh, more than 10 minutes, so it will be a uh, long time. Actually, I'm a little bit enjoy, enjoy this sound. Yes, this sound. I 
I rarely hear this sound uh, from a uh, manual grinder or the electric grinder. The electric grinder always have a bigger sound. Mm, that, uh, actually, I think it's noise. I don't like that noise. Uh, but, uh, I can't do anything with it. This sound, uh, the passive crash in the beans. It's good. It make it, it make me feel that uh, I fulfilled uh, my work. I think uh, most of the bean is uh, break apart. Is broke apart, so I will do it harder. As I said, don't do like this after the first step. The bean will go out, and at this step is okay. I need a rest. The more time it goes, the powder will be better. Check the fineness. Check the fineness. If you grind it uh, another 10 minutes, uh, the powder will be much better. Mm, but uh, for me, I will make a uh, hand brewing coffee. So I think this powder is very enough. Let's go to the next step. I get a white paper to show you how the powder looks like. So I will pour it here. It's empty. So this is the powder. Let's check. Mm. I think mm, it's okay for hand brooming, mm, but uh, this is uh, not okay for espresso or some Turkish coffee. I think. So let's do the manual brewing. So let's put the coffee inside this stainless filter. So. Mm. No, it's enough for me. Let's get some hot water. Mm. 
I think I will get um, about uh, 200 millimeter, milliliter. So let's start. This side. Uh, forgive me, I'm not very professional in brewing. Uh, we are the supply of coffee appliances, <laughs> so, but um, in the brewing, I'm not very professional. But I will do the way I like. Uh, I always uh, like the coffee this way. It's a 300 millimeters in this, so I will check if it goes here. 100 milliliter, uh, I will finish. Okay, that's enough. So let's wait. Uh, wait. Uh, wait. It's almost finished. I think it's ready, so I'll find, find that cup. We get this coffee, and you can check the color. Oh, I think it's good. I will. I will have a sip. Mm. Okay. I think it's good. So this is today's video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.